So hear me out. Okay. Listening. One in six. But they're not out of the race. Please stop. Not out of the race. I do think there's a path to the division to win the NFC South for the Carolina Panthers. I'm on board now. One win changes everything. It's a week-to-week -week league, Lauren. It's week-to-week. -week. They just needed to break through once. Now, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, <laughs> because stop it. But the one, the one thing I will say uh -huh. is that it would be very funny because they don't have the pick. If they, if they ended up making the playoffs and tanking their draft position that they don't even have. That would go to Chicago. So, correct. So, so now I'm kind of on board for this because that would actually cost Chicago like a lot of draft spots. It is funny you mentioned that because that's kind of where we are with the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll look. Yesterday, I had a listener point out to me that I was kind of cavalier about the Panthers beating the Houston Texans. That game almost killed me. And the reason why I was somewhat cavalier is because, yes, they won. It's great that they won, but I don't think it really changes any of our opinions about what the Panthers are and what they need to fix. Right. Offensive line was still a problem. Yes. Frankie Louvu had an amazing game. Mm, love Frankie. And, I mean, as of this recording, it's it's 10-18 right now. Uh, they haven't traded Frankie, so that's good. Trade deadline's I, on the If way. they trade... Never mind. <laughs> I'm just... I'm going to... Or Brian Burns, for that matter. Well, at least that would... Mm. I don't know. It would. I don't want to say it would be understandable, but like that's clearly their best asset. If right. they, if they would trade him, for, like stop it. Read but the room for th once that's, in your life. You, you need to replenish those assets, and right now those are the two pieces that would get you anything at this point. Now, Brian just Burns, Frank, leave Frankie out of this. Frankie is not an asset. Brian uh, Burns, he is to me, but no one needs to know that. The ship to this sailed. Team. <laughs> the ship sailed on getting two first round draft picks for Brian Burns. I know. Agree. Uh, so, Which is like, so at this point, just don't. Don't do it. Right. Sign them with a contract. But yes. we'll see how that all plays out. I mean, they just have to figure, like the left tackle situation is what it is at this point. But, here's, but here's what I, to get back to my Cavalier attitude about the Panthers and why I was kind of like, cool, you won. You needed to do it. I'm sure it was great to see Bryce Young smiling again. Yes. We haven't really seen a yes. lot of smiling out of Bryce Young. That's just not his character. Uh, to see it, kinda, I think he's actually played better in other games that they didn't win. So you he know, has. I mean, not that he played poorly, he didn't. I thought he played pretty well. Bryce but like, Young has been fine. I agree. He, he has ultimately been fine. The team right. around him is just not very good right now. He can't catch the passes. I mean, Iki aquanu has been oh, has regressed to a point where it's. I don't even. Oh you just God. wonder what's going on with him, man. It's, Literally, where's Oz the mentalist to come through the Panthers camp, uh, the Panthers uh, locker room, and convince him, hey man, you need to act like it's 2022 again. Also, like we need him to get rid of the sun visor, because I think he's not. I'm. Do you not see him looking around? No, I know what you mean. As if he didn't see what was what just mean. happening. I can't have that anymore. But the one thing <laughs> that I have to remind myself, and this typically happens Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning, as I'm getting ready for the rest of the week, is yeah. that I take, I take a look around the league. I stop focused on the team that we talk about mostly, and I go, okay, well, what else is going on? And right. The problem is when you look around, you're going, man, there's really nobody that's good. Right. And the, that's like, what makes this like almost we're, worse. We're yeah. dangerously close to a weekend of football. If we had, if we didn't already hit it this past weekend, where I'm going to name you a quarterback that's starting this week. And you're going to say, that's not a real person. Okay. Or, oh yeah, he's starting. Where'd he go to college? And I'll tell you where he went to college. And you'd be like, that's not a real place. That's just another house <laughs> of Harry Potter. I mean, I guess that that'd be an improvement over yeah, like maybe. whatever they've been doing with the yeah, terrible the backup QB recycling. Well, it's bad. Like, doesn't Nathan Peterman still I have mean, a job? Fact, what are we doing the here? The fact that Tommy DeVito got <laughs> actual, like, I Bless. need to go win a game time Bless. for the Giants tells you something. Did Eric Dungy play in the NFL? Because if he didn't, I'm going to be did. mad on his behalf. Okay, no, he good. did. Okay, he good. Because, like, I'm pretty sure of Syracuse quarterbacks I've seen I, recently. I got to go back and look at uh, Sports Reference, but I'm pretty sure he at least played in, in backup game. Right. duty. Or That's what I was hoping like for, for him, yes. So, to my point, nobody's great. Quarterbacks are getting hurt. And that's quarterback gonna, play isn't great. It's not great either. No. So six of the next 10 games, the rest of the way for the Carolina Panthers, are against teams with losing records. The Colts are three and five. That's their next opponent. The Bears are the, a dumpster fire. The Bears just got, I think the Bears have to quit the NFL after what the Chargers social media did to them. Oh using, my God. Uh, I think you should leave memes <laughs> oh. on them. Oh. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm not doing shit. That was amazing. So, so the Bears are two and six. The Titans are three and four. The Bucks are three and four. The Packers are two and five. The Bucks again three and four. So that's your remaining slate of losing record teams. Six out of the next the next ten. But the Falcons, who are four and four, and the Saints, who are also four and four, uh, and tied for the top of the NFC South, are not exactly 
wowing you right now. The, the Desmond Ritter experiment seems to have run its course in Atlanta and Panther legend Taylor Heineke looks like he's going to he's going to That's gonna another one that. that I'm like, he's still in the league? He's still in the league. <laughs> you know what? Actually, before the season, before I realized he was on the Falcons, I thought he was still on the commanders. Speaking of that, you know, I mean, literally all of the quarterbacks, I think, on that roster mm -hmm. are playing somewhere. PJ Walker's playing yes. Kyle Allen. Yes. Like <laughs> Sam Darnold almost started for the 49ers this week because Brock Purdy was in concussion protocol. Yeah, they so, even had a graphic up with Brock Purdy as Sam Darnold so during think, the game. So think about that. That that <laughs> these accident. these washout QBs that the Panthers thought were going to fix problems are backups and they're actually playing, which tells you where we are in the NFL right now. Yeah. Now, the chances of the Panthers going from one and six to winning the division with a losing record is fanciful thinking. Mm -hmm. However, it is on the table for all the reasons I just laid out. I mean, I, I, I'm listening. You know, at first right. I was like, stop, because you know what? I'm so programmed to because it's happened to the uh -huh. Panthers before where uh -huh. they have like not the best season and make, you know, make the playoffs and then cost themselves draft spots. Yeah. However, now that it's not their draft pick, I mean, let's, let's get weird.